don't know who's next on stage quite yet. Um, we haven't made the quite announced um, officially yet. So, second enhanced and exclusive? Is that one that has to pronounce his name? <laughs> We'll get some more exciting uh, matches next after this one too. So you have Tekken Hints versus XL USA. As we get our tournament organizer um, fixed up with the, um, the remaining of the bracket and get these uh, players back on stage, um, let's talk about you know this current event as of right now. Um, we have a you know pretty big, um, pretty big bracket as of right now. Um, I don't think it's quite of a, um, a challenger event. Uh, how many people is it? Is it 90 plus? I think it's 96. Yeah, 96. Yes. Um, possibly you know um, really good. Um, Prize pool, as you can see right there, from $100 starting off as of right now, but that's definitely not final. Um, but more importantly, the points, uh, TWT points. And we are definitely hitting towards the downstretch of um, the remaining few, you know, dojos and challenger events and, of course, master events for um, the TWT World Tour. Mm -hmm. And we got um, we got some players um, like uh, Obscure, who's coming up um, at the match after the ne next one. And... Uh, we got Hendo here, Ace Unlimited. Um, we got uh, Rhythm. Yeah, Rhythm. Obscure. We have um, Zhao, which is a you know up and coming, high level Tekken player out of Greensboro. Yeah, absolutely, and um, we we are less than like what three months away from uh, the TWT uh, World Finals. Yes, and, and uh, Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan. Man, have you been to Shibuya before? No, I have never. I have not been to Japan. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's a beautiful area. It's kind of like the uh, uh, New York City or J Japan's Tokyo's Times Square. So it's like equivalent to Times Square. Yeah, absolutely. I've been a few times. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yes, and uh, we got a few re um, uh, upcoming spots coming up. Um, we got you know currently uh, three Americans on the global leaderboards. Um, I believe um, that makes it, I think, um, Dr. Jake Man as on uh, top of the, um, the regional leaderboard for, uh, for NA. Uh -huh. um, and some of you guys here are um, really close to um, taking that spot away from him. And uh, as only one um, player from the, from the regional leaderboards from NA can make it. So everybody's fighting for that top spot. And I wonder who's in the, uh, in the lead. I believe it's Dr. Jake Man. I could be wrong. Um, JJ Breeze, uh, very close to the, um, being on top as well. Um, and don't, rem and don't rem uh, forget, if the ones that are very, NA players that are currently on the, on the global leaderboards, um, such as Shadow 20Z, right. um, Fear of Silence, if they get, if they get bumped out of, the, out of the top 20, that means one of them can be put in, uh, into that top leader, uh, regional leaderboard. So, um, you gotta be scoring some points on that. On yeah, that for end. sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so this year's CWT is very, very, very weird uh, how it's formatted mm -hmm. because they're trying to get more people in involved, and um, it's definitely been, been such a growing uh, community. So I think that is like the most appropriate way to like handle the situation. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think it was a good call. I think it was a good call that they're actually giving players who might not be able to make, you know, the the majors a yes. chance. You know, people like like a Hendo, like a JJ Breeze. Like, um, you know, even Ace or Clam or, you know, these guys that are dominating, like, in our region um, to have a chance to make the TWT final as well. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and even these guys, um, Ace Unlimited um, was not able to attend to EVO, and it is a big financial um, yes, for sure. uh, commitment. And 
um, especially here in NA where we don't have the, uh, that kind of support to really right, um, right, right. get these events. It really helps out the, um, these kind of players to really um, get a ch just have like a better chance of, of at least have a, uh, a way to make it to um, Shibuya uh, this coming December. Yeah, we actually have a few of our uh, our local people going out there for uh, for TWT final. I think Retta says she's going out there just to spectate or whatever. So <laughs> you know, you know she's going to have a good time. You know, along as uh, along with I think I think. Scotty's going out there, too. I think that's what she told him. I don't know. I'm not going to put their business out there. But, yeah, it should be a good time. Hopefully, I'll be able to make it out next year. Uh, but we got our next match coming up. We have Tekken Enhance versus XL USA or Exclusa. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. XL USA? We're going to say XL USA. Shout out to Miley Cyrus, parting in the USA. We're out here <laughs> in Hampton, Virginia at Beast in the East 7. Okay? By the way, I don't think we mentioned this is a – PC exclusive fighting game tournament. Well, for, for Street Fighter and Tekken, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. We got this match coming up. Fight. Let's see what we have. Uh, Lisa? So we got the wait, 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 wait. This is a button check? Uh oh. Yeah, it looks like there's some kind of error from the. Uh, the button mapping, so it looks like they're gonna um, oh, no. reset, which is okay. Um, they're obviously in agreement, so they're probably just gonna um, uh, close out this match and just um, start over and get back to the uh, character select menu. What happened? Oh, okay. All right, so I think we need some support. Excuse me? It, it's a turn mode. Yeah, it's a turn mode. Just, yeah, I was just say, just in, uh, just wanted you to just walk forward and um, close the match out. Yeah, so. Start over. Yeah, you just got to close the match. Yeah. Are there issues with both pads? I don't know. Maybe. Some technical issues going on right now. It's okay. We're gonna get it taken care of. So we got the uh, the first pool going on. A little bit of room for error. It's all good. We're all human. Hey, shout out to Sun Gohan X, man. So let me let me tell you about this guy right here. Let me tell you about this uh, this guy in the white shirt. So I started my journey in the fighting game community way back in our Lord's year of 2007. Okay. Which was a long time ago. I, I have 15-year-old brothers and sisters that are that were born in 09. So this is like 17 plus years ago. He was actually one of the guys who introduced me to the scene back when I was a young 18-year-old freshman at uh, North Carolina a and So he's been around a long time. I've been around a long time, and you know, seeing people like him and you know his lady organize these type of events definitely gives me inspiration to keep going as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we're here because of um, everybody around here, even you guys in the chat, even though we can't see you guys. Yeah, shout out <laughs> to all the stream monsters. If you're new in the chat, you don't know what a stream monster is, it's literally just somebody who is watching the stream and likes to, you know, comment on things that they may or may not know about. So let's see what we have going on here. Press start, press start. Okay. Go to button check. Let's make sure that everything works. Yeah, they pro somebody probably didn't press confirm and they press cancel instead. That's yeah, that, that's problems. a that's a human error. We're all humans, you know. We we gotta we gotta give ourselves some grace, okay? Hey, that happened to me. My uh, my, my first like um, one of my first two or three tournaments, and mm -hmm. yeah, that <laughs> I was like, God dang, I forgot to press confirm. I press cancel by accident. Yeah, I think it was at your one of your tournaments too. <laughs> well, IFM. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, those days. But, hey, we're here to grow as human beings, you know, <laughs> and as players. And when it comes, it doesn't get any more growth on with Tekken. Um, it's a legacy game, first and foremost. And mm -hmm. um, when you're, it's a, there's so much to learn in this game. And there's, and what, almost everybody's still learning in this game. Right. It's, that's how much knowledge you have. I mean, to the, the, game, the game hasn't been out 
for six months yet, right? Yeah. Or is so. this a six month? Six it's, months? I think yeah, maybe six it's months. It's September. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's August right now. No, no, it is the six month anniversary. Okay. Yeah. So the game's just been out for six months, right? Um, there, are, Like you said, it is a legacy game, but there are a lot of things that they changed, right? Yes. As far as properties of a move, like um, you look at like Raven's Quarter Circle 4 2 which used to knock down, used to be a, a, a low launcher. Now, it doesn't launch, I don't think. Maybe it launches in heat, but it definitely doesn't launch in, in regular Tekken, right? Yeah, absolutely. Or like Harong's uh, down 4-4. Four four. You should be able to duck the first or the, the second part of the string, but now it's a, it's a low mid. Absolutely. Oh, it jails. Yeah, everybody has, you know, a good handful of uh, new moves and new uh, properties of their older moves. Right. And as you can see, there's been a lot, a lot of upsets, um, especially at these majors that we've seen so far. All right, so we're going to play some neutral right here. Okay. Okay. Chainsaws. Do you know how to deal with the chainsaws? Okay, we'll see. Look at that chip damage. Look at that damage. Okay, power crush. Good low. Oh, okay. wrong punish, though. Or was that the right punish? Maybe. Um, maybe he's doing too slow? Maybe too slow, but um, right. the, the whole purpose of, you know, when you go against Alyssa, the key strategy is, is to get the forcer out of those um, chainsaws because they, right, 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 they right. are a problem. Even if you know, if you don't hit her, she blocks, it's still, uh, it's still ha she's still forced to put them away. So may not be a punish, but uh, definitely still a right move to do. Right, right, right. One round each. Okay. Nice. Whip punish. And we're going to the wall? Maybe? I don't know. But this stage is kind of hard to tell. Oh, uh, this is a big stage. Okay. We're at the wall now, though. Oh, oh nice. good duck. duck. Nice. XL USA. You like that. You like that. Oh, okay. Power crush. Yeah. Can't watch nice. that. Okay, oh. we're going to the wall. All right. Oh! oh. Seven gold <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay. So, TWT rules, we have to go to stage select and pick random stage every time. So, you can either go to select character, Get ready for the next change your character, or change your character's uniform, and then go into random stage select, or you can just go to select stage and random stage select. But either way, we have to have random stage select after every match because people like to, or people used to like to pick stages for their advantage. And how did you feel about that at Tekken 7? Um, I understand why they did it. Because, um, uh -huh. I mean, there was like, what, uh, so many stages at Tekken 7, they had, you know, a lot of options, but um, the still most common stages were either, you know, Infinite uh, Azure um, or or the other uh, infinite stages. Right. And then as well as, um, you know, the, st um, the specific stages that certain uh, players pick, uh, more, most common was also probably from Violet Systems. But uh, people, we don't want to see them with all so many stages um, on the on the map. So it's uh, so love because there probably will be some stages that probably will never get picked. Maybe this one, actually. Right. So who, that, that might get changed one day. Um, who knows? But as of right now, if, um, I don't see really that big of a deal. Right. Um, and I, I like the idea of how like the stages are, because um, they're all um, quite unique in their own way. For so sure. Showing them off um, in the way we, uh, when they're being forced to is um, kind of uh, like the right way to do it. All right, so we got uh, taking the hands up two rounds. See if you can tie it up here. Okay, slide, slide. again. Are we trying to get? Oh, that's weird. Good power crush, okay. He's not low oh. parrying that junkyard, by the way. Okay. Our rising two. Why did the grab not go through? Alright, right, so we tied up. 1-1. One, one. Okay, let's see what stage we have next. Into the stratosphere. I love the UI in this game. I think they did an amazing job with the user interface. Oh, yeah. Really just visually. I mean, Tekken has always been one of those games that excelled visually. 
but the user interface, like like the heads up display, oh, yeah. I think it's amazing. Okay, no punish. Oh no. So he's throwing out Junkyard. If you can see, for our uh, viewers out there, that is a mid-low. So technically you can low parry. Oh, good oh. launch. You can low parry that second hit, but that's just a knowledge check. If your opponent isn't low parrying it, just keep doing it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good grab. Trying to go for the power crush, but he wants to grab. Fight. Okay. Nice running three. Nunchuck. Can't stay on the ground. Uh-oh. Nice. Slide. Slide. Nunchucks. See, that's that's a law nerf. So in the, in the first version, you could just loop the slide, right? Yes. But then they enhanced the pushback, so now you have to go back to neutral, technically. Yes, absolutely. That, that was definitely one of the most um, annoying things to deal with. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So you had to guess. A big, yeah, a big change. And ducking against Law is not the uh, greatest idea either. Because right. the dragon will kill you. Okay. So now the floor is lava. So you can floor crush. Kind of ducking, but he uh, got up a little too early. There you go. Floor crush to an enhanced combo. Okay. He is considered airborne, though. The damage is going to be reduced a little bit. Nice Ooh. punish. Law interrupted it, though. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, too far. Ah, uh, wrong punish. Wrong punish. Okay. So here we go. XL USA. X Lusa. Whatever you want to call this gentleman. Just make sure that you get it right. Here we go. Okay. So we're going into the heat engagement. All right. Chip damage. Slide. Okay. Back to neutral. Okay. Nice, nice punish. punish. I go with power crush. Gotta watch out. Okay, that was smart. Okay. Oh, are you gonna finish your plate? Yes. Just do the easy mode combo. That should be able to. Oh kill. yeah, it's definitely gonna kill. And this is one of the coolest raid darts uh, in my personal opinion. In the game. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Shout out to Bruce Lee, man. What a legend. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so that was good. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, and what a what a good adjustment by taking a hit, Steve. Um, it wasn't really a promising match on uh, the first one, going down um, by no round brown. Right. Uh, but made big adjustments and uh, reversed it uh, immediately for the round brown uh, of himself, and had a little bit of a scare after going two up rounds, and then uh, and then XL was literally was able to um, make almost a comeback, but um, make the adjustments and of course. Uh, Execute properly and then get the um, the round uh, to finish the set. So, uh, good sets by both players here. Yeah, good games from both players for sure, for sure. They're both not out yet because they uh, there's it is double elimination, so they got right. to go through the losers bracket.